Good evening, everybody. Uh, here with your boy Desro, and today we're taking a look at the Beto Serra for Linux uh, emulation station. That's a lovely, very, very nice front end for the classic emulation solar things. Uh, let, let's take a look. I'm not going to play much, but we'll dive in. Right, as you can see here, we've got the arcade. It's given us a few video previews of games what are available in the collection. We've got Camp Capcom. Here's your main games Neo Geo. Uh, Thomas Wave. Naomi. Atari Lynx is there. And the classic Atari stuff. Got the Panasonic 3DO. Only, only 10 games on here. Because it is the Raspberry Pi, so it's very limited. We've even got Doom. Beats of, <coughs> Beats of Rage is pretty cool. It's like mashups. That was beats. You got Game and Watch. Remember those great little systems. Remember this one here for sure. Game Boy. Pretty much a full collection there. Game Boy Color. Game Boy Advanced. Virtual Boy, God, who? <laughs> who can remember this garbage? Nintendo Entertainment System. Super Nintendo. Nintendo 64. Nintendo 64 doesn't play too well on the Raspberry Pi. Some games do, but, but most don't. Sony PlayStation. Only 300 games. PSP. A lot of games of the PSP won't run. But I, I play it for the, the old Sega stuff. The old Nintendo. Things like this here. There's even a few Dreamcast games. Sega Saturn, not many. Because a lot of the games won't really work on the Raspberry Pi, but there are a few that do. 
in these are those particular titles. Coleco Vision. Every game has a a video snap artwork. It's a really good collection. PC Engine. Turbo Graphics, pretty much the same thing. Some po crazy Pokemon thing. I'll probably remove this myself actually, I'm not really a Pokemon gamer. Super Graphics. That's actually Ghouls and Ghosts. Victra. Neo Geo Pockets. Wonder Swan. Wonder Swan Color. Now this sharp system, I, I reckon it was quite good. Pretty arcade quality uh, games actually. Well, you go into Capcom. Got all the Capcom games. Good old Black Tiger, Bonnet Commando. Some real cool stuff. Good old Circus Charlie. So if you go to the arcade here, that's Capcom, MAME, Final, Final Burn Neo and all that. So there's 1800 and something arcade games. There's a hundred, see there's 170 uh, Neo Geo games. Some real shudders here too. Example, this one. <laughs> That's good. 64th. Another shitty game. So you can chuck one of these systems into an arcade cabinet. But you're not going to be playing Killer Instinct or, you know, the higher end. You're just playing the real good old classics. And as I said, it's bloat. A lot of shit in here, like this game here. Battle Cross, absolute crap. I might go through and delete delete a lot of that shit. All the bubble bubbles. Good old Buck Rogers. All fight. So you can see the extent of the of the games that are on here. I'm a collector. So I I've got these because I uh preserve I archive a lot of stuff. Here's another commando game. Yeah, garbage, garbage commando. Contra, one of the hardest games. Oh, 
Another shit game. So, you know, that that's pretty much how this thing works. It doesn't have Daphne. I could have... Probably could add it. You got all the Mega Drive games on there. But there's so much shit out there. Either you got the artwork, the video snap. It's so well done and it's so smooth. In the place that <laughs> Okay, we've got mini stuff there as well. These games aren't going to run well on the Raspberry Pi. This is your base of operation. One of my favourite. Uh, where is it? Here. They've just recently bought out a new one on the Nintendo Switch. Ghosts and Goblins uh, Resurrection. Game Gear, the Sega handheld. And it's, there's some garbage here, like the, that Microsoft system. Fucking hell, I wouldn't be playing that. Let's go to Atari Lynx. I wouldn't play that, this either these days. I mean, look at it. <laughs> I mean, look at That's a good, good looking version. Hang food. And look, shitty games. Yeah, look, look how shitty this looks. <laughs> anyway, folks, that is Beta Sierra. That is a 128 gigabyte uh, collection there that is available online. I think it's Arcade Punks or something like that. I'm not going to give links to it. You can find it yourself. But yeah, really fast, good for the Raspberry Pi 4. Yes, it has got a lot of bloat on there that, that shouldn't be on there, but. I'm not the guy who made the image. So the guy who made the image has done a good job. It, it's smooth. And I'd rather use this than RetroPie, to be honest. It, it, it just gives me more of an atmosphere. The front end is better. You know, with how the menu is, it kind of reminds me of a hyperspin style. And, and I prefer 
prefer it like that. Anyway, folks, that's me. This is your boy Jeff Rowe. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up on the video and follow the channel. And we'll see you next time. Thank you very much.